，有有有有几个人在看哦，但是你看他们还在看，你看他们还在看，他们还在看吗？还是有人在看我们的车子。Who wants to go in the trunk? You, not the viewer. You, Brendan. Yes, you're going in the trunk. Let's see. Oh, hello. 你们觉得这台车帅吗？帅，谢谢。有，可以哦。What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to EMC. You guys guessed it. We are in the blue Subaru BRZ. This car is the new generation BRZ. It's got a lot of differences. And today, we're just going to go for a test drive. We're going to have some fun because the setting of this car is a fun car and we're gonna have a lot of fun. There's a lot of other YouTubers and vloggers and car experts, reviewers that have reviewed this car already and we're not gonna do, you know, the typical review. We're gonna go around, see how it is as a daily and, uh, you know, have some fun with it but also see how much attention that it gets and we're gonna take it around the city as well. But before we do that, Let's go over the exterior and see the major differences from the previous generation and the new one. Aesthetically, there's a lot of differences, especially in the front end. There's new headlights, there's a new front bumper, uh, and it's got a lot of gills, a lot of intakes, and all of the holes and the vents are actually very, very functional. So there's something really cool about this black insert right here with the air intake. I actually have a texture on it that feels like shark skin and it actually makes the airflow faster so it can dissipate the heat better and it works very well aerodynamically. Now let me show you guys the fenders because it actually has functional air vents right here, okay? So there's openings right here and the opening actually, you know, you can see that I'm touching my fingers and it's kind of cool. Okay, I'm not playing the finger hole game, but uh, just to show you guys. So this is really cool because the front bumper actually has vents right here that go down as well as right here, and it goes into the side skirt. The side skirts are a little bit wider, and it just looks more badass. I love the aerodynamic look of it. Now let's go back and check out the rear, because this is what makes this car really sexy, okay? I'm a big hip and butt kind of guy. I know that a lot of people out there are the same, and you know what? How do you not love big hips? Okay, right here, this is larger than last generation, is wider, it's sexier, and right here, they actually made a special design right here. This kind of flares out. This is really, really special, and I love it because it looks sexy, okay? But from the rear fender going to the rear bumper, this piece right here, it actually cuts in. So when you're looking at the ass of this car, you can see the rear tires coming out, and that looks extra racer. Now, if you get custom wheels, like let's say EMC wheels, you know, you can make it really flush and then it protrudes out a little more so the tires are even fatter. And that looks doper, all right? But I have to admit, the stock 18 inch design wheels do look really good. It looks sporty and it looks aggressive and it's lightweight and it comes with Michelin tires. You know what? This gas thing, you know, this looks really cool, the, the shape of it. Okay, it's very different than all the other ones. Um, and I realized that there's English, Chinese, and Arabic. I guess they have a big market there. Um, anyway, let's take a look at the rear of the car because I see a ducktail. This is really cool because I like the ducktail design, okay? It kind of comes out a little bit. Obviously, I'm not sure why it's a two-piece design. I think that it could be a one-piece design, probably make it look better, but it's still sexy. LED lights, and it's got the twin exhaust pipes. These pipes are big, 
All right, hopefully it'll sound really good and we'll see that later. And I wanna show you guys something on the top. So as you guys can see, the top of the car, there's an indentation right here. This is for airflow. And then you have a shark fin right here. And I love it. I realized that Subaru put a lot of R&D into the aerodynamic designs of this car because underneath it, there's a lot of air streaks as well. And that helps immensely. Now, let's have some fun. Let's go do some donuts. Let's do some burnouts. This is what this car is about, all right? This is the BRZ, baby. Have some fucking fun. Okay, first things first, sport and track mode, traction off. What do you think? <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm gonna do a little burnout. This car is fucking fun. <laughs> now, let's go see how it is. Do a little test drive. Uh, obviously, we are around the coastline and, uh, you know, I'm gonna drive around the coast and uh, go up and do some canyon roads and mountain roads. So let's see what this car has got. So the gear shift lever does look like a manual, however, this car that Subaru gave us today is an automatic. Uh, I like the look of it, you know, if you just want to drive an automatic, this is cool. And it does have paddles, so if we shift this back into manual mode, back down, it revs up. Okay, wow. Ah, you hear that? Did you hear that? So, it kind of protects the gear from downshifting when you rev too high. Like I was around 4,000, 5,000, and I wanted to downshift, it won't let me. But if I'm around 3,000 now, okay, it still won't let me, that's good. So maybe, ah, see, so below 3,000, I'm back in the first gear now. Uh, now, it's going Okay, so I downshift. Okay, now let's downshift again and see if you can hear that beeping when it's rev too high. See? You hear that? That's pretty cool. Not bad. It sounds pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna keep the revs up and see. guys to Xingyi District Supercar Alley. We're gonna see, you know, how much attention, how many heads we can turn with this car. We might even interview some people here and there. But so far on the highway, it's actually pretty comfortable. What do you think, Brendan? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Pretty comfortable. You know, I think the suspension and everything. We're in sport mode. Um, you know, it's not too rough, not too bumpy. But so far, so good. And, uh... Let's just see if it's got enough power. Prepare yourself, Brendan. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. All right, 
See you guys later. See through the tall parts here. Usually there's a lot of uh, supercars here, but today I guess not so many. There's some people that are looking at the car, like, uh, hey, Nanza, what are you saying? Hello. Hey, you should say I'm sorry, man. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, cool. Just it. I guess that's two people. They like the car. Maybe they like me. I don't know. <laughs> so let's go drive around and see what people think of the BRZ. All right. Let's go. 他們有轉頭率<笑> 看喔<笑><笑> 看一下我。I do see some people looking over there. See? Over there, so see over there. So oh, I think he's looking. I'm gonna I wanna do a I wanna go over there and just ask. Let's see. 你覺得那個深藍色的Subaru BRZ 你覺得怎麼樣對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊對啊
And then there's headroom. You know, I like the fact that there's headroom. I'm 188, this is good. And let's just fit someone in the trunk. Who wants to go in the trunk? You. Not the viewer, you, Brendan. Yes, you're going in the trunk, let's see. This is very interesting. They have a spare tire in here and this is actually the same wheel as, you know, what's on the car. Usually they have like a shitty spare tire, but this is, and it's Michelin's. You know, these are the same. It's great. All right, Brendan, get in. I'm the best boss in the world. <笑>可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以